I just see you with Marvin McFadden? I'm Alice Day. He works for me. I'm Millie. Yeah, he bought you a gift from the store I work at. We have become quite close. But you two, though, make really an adorable couple. Oh, we're not a couple. We really just met tonight. Well, just between us, here is the thing about Marvin. He tends to like girls that are a little bit more forward, so if you really like him, you might try kissing him. That's not really me. I'm not saying, like, stick your tongue down his throat. Just a quick kiss to show him you're interested, and if he kisses you back, then you will know he's into you. Okay. Maybe. Yeah. Nice meeting you. <laughs> Good luck. I can't believe you guys did that to me. You're just lucky I freaking rock. <laughs> Come here. Wow. You look awesome. Get out. No, I mean like a real band manager. Hungover, exhausted, leathery. Leathery. Have you been on the internet this morning? Right. Well, brace yourself. Somebody recorded my performance at Trick, and they uploaded it online. 500 people have already viewed it. It's amazing. That's great, Mia. Do you think we can get in the studio today? I'm totally inspired to work. Sure, yes. I will call someone. Awesome. You're the best. I'm going to go tell Haley. Okay. Peyton, wake up. It's the first day of the rest of our lives. First day of the rest of our lives sucks. You really think we got a chance against the cell? As long as Quinn can score, we got a chance. Sorry guys, this is my fault. It's alright. Lucas got a plan. I do? I hope so. Sure. Marvin McFadden, WWIY News. I'm here to interview Coach Scott. Oh, Marvin McFadden here to interview Coach Scott. My baby's all grown up. <laughs> <laughs> all right, run 41! Sorry I made fun of your car. Sorry I made fun of your mom. The truth is, I'm actually jealous of how you live your life, okay? Of how you don't do anything that doesn't make you happy, of how you don't take orders from anyone. And Bartender, two more beers. Except those kind of orders. Right. So this is how you're gonna play it? Excuse me? The whole sensitive confession thing. It's what guys usually do when they're hoping to score. Well, clearly I am not trying to score with you, because if I was, you'd never be able to turn me down. Hmm. You mean, turn you down, like I did last night? It is so on. So she was naked with you in the shower, huh? It's not what it sounds like. Sounds pretty bad. Excuse me, Mr. Engagement Guy who kissed Peyton? That was a mistake, and that also wasn't being naked in the shower with the hot nanny. By the way, how hot was she? Stop it. I'm telling you, man, Carrie's nuts. She's convinced herself that I'm in love with her. It's crazy. Have you told Haley that? I tried to explain it to her, but she's so pissed off, there's no, there's no talking to her. I've been wandering around all night since she kicked me out. Well, look, you can stay here for a while if you want. I mean, Lindsay's in New York on business for a few days, but... You gotta take care of this with Haley, Nathan. I mean, you've put her through a lot over the last few years, and even she has a breaking point. Remember that. I will. And thank you for letting me stay, man. Hey. So I might really get out, huh? Well, it says here if he's denied, it's gonna be another five years before he's up for parole again. There's a hearing that we can speak at this afternoon. 
I'm going. Yeah? Yeah. Look, if you can't make it, I understand. Uh, no, I, uh... I want to go, man. It's important. I, um... I want to be there for you. We'll be there for each other. Great, now she's not answering any of my calls. I cannot believe that after all this hard work, everything's just gonna fall apart. Do you want me to try and have she listen to me? No. No, she won't. I know, Mia. Plus, I kind of told her you were the devil, so... I'm sorry. It looks like I've ruined it for the both of us. <laughs> Peyton. Peyton, if you ever finally figure out the business side, you'd be so much further. What does that mean? I think I may have a way we can both get what we want. What? Nothing. You look good. Better than last week. Well, I can be the before and after girl for the B. Davis program. I don't really want to see the before again, but the after looks kind of incredible. Feels pretty good, too. I haven't been sober this long since high school. Please, like you were ever sober in high school. <sighs> Listen, I have to go finish a wedding dress and do some prep work for my big Macy's meeting tomorrow, so... Are you gonna be okay if I leave you here for a couple hours? Of course. <laughs> go take care of business. Okay. Hey, Brooke. Thank you for taking such good care of me this week. I owe you. No, you don't. I do. Modeling for clothes over bros was the best time of my life. I wish I could have been stronger for you. What you did this week took a lot of strength. And I know you have a long way to go, but I'm proud of you. Keep it up, we'll get you back at clothes over bros in no time. 